Drink a beer or should, am I good with the coffee? You can drink coffee. I'm drinking coffee. All right. So, all right. Um, here we go. Craft brews and casual conversations. Here we are. Episode 301. Scheduling's been a little uh, weird, a little funky, but that's okay. Things happen and we keep on trucking. We keep on doing things. Uh, we are sipping some coffee that we've made to help us um, stay regular to help energize us through these days that we are experiencing in, in the the dead of winter, the month of December. And we are also, you know, hopefully entertaining the masses. So many different things that we are hoping to do. My name is Drew. I'm Rob. And we're going to cue the intro. And the kid screaming in the back is my son, who is being attend- attended to by another adult in the house. This is Dudes with Brews on the Porch. On the porch, on a porch. You're about to hear the greatest show of your life. Dude. Dudes with brews on a porch. Rob and Drew! I don't even know how to say the name anymore. Oh, it's um um it's a porch, right? Should I Yeah. It's no a porch. Dudes with brews on a porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a porch. Not yeah, the, yeah, on a porch. On a porch. Okay. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it is a porch. We don't. We this, don't this like makes, to... yeah, yeah. This this makes me feel better about the fact that we didn't know what the I in in IPA stands for, and we absolutely should. It's uh, India. I was told by a few people. I th- I said that not, India. Didn't not, I? Yeah, yeah. And it, it just took us half the episode to get there. That's all right. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. eventually in a future episode, we'll get uh, we'll get learned on how to uh, properly dissect beers, and I look forward to that. Um, Robert, what kind of coffee are you sipping this fine Sunday? So I got a, a, I don't know what the espresso they used is, but I, I got a, a California Sunrise mm-hmm. um, from uh, Three Sisters Coffee Shop down the street from my house. It's a very good uh, place. Uh, it is, uh, I believe it's two shots of espresso in orange juice. And if huh. you can see the separation of the color there. Yeah, interesting. And it's got, a, it's got like a, a cranberry-esque uh, kind of bitterness to it, but a sweetness as well. It's like a... a it really pairs well together. If if you have a if you have orange juice and 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 espresso or coffee, I've even heard works. They actually do go well together, and and it's it makes you feel a little bit better. It's better than getting uh, uh that that milk that 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 cow milk uh you know in you, and then you get the the milk sweats and <laughs> yeah uh, uh you know it's like the coffee's just pushing lactose out of every pore in your body, and you feel gross. You don't get that with the with the with the orange juice when you when you put the espresso in the uh, in the orange juice. I'm pretty sure I watched a movie once called California, um, California Sunrise with Three Sisters. Is that a real movie? No. Oh. It... Then I don't get the joke. No thanks. Is I'm busy. Um, anyways, I uh, I'm drinking a delicious cup of a, a finely freshed, f- freshly ground bean. They 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 picked it from fields uh, in Uganda as well as in Ecuador. They they brought them together, so you can't tell which one's which, but you just know that they're from those places. They ground them all up together, and they put them into the tin um, that ended up on a shelf at Walmart. I'm drinking a great value uh, Dunkin' Shop or Donut Shop coffee. Okay, they're actually it's Ugandan, not, eh? It, yeah, I'm guessing. Oh oh okay. Yeah, I think I think you, you know that. this this uh this delicious uh light light lightly roasted uh morning brew really knows how to fuel your day. You start off all groggy, but after a few sips of this Dunkin', or no, I keep saying Dunkin', donut shop uh, coffee, it really it really perks you up, and it gets, ready for, uh, it gets you ready to accomplish so many things. Uh, you're going to get ready to change the world. That's what well, I'm, let's get to it. That's what I'm drinking right now. Well, cheers to, to starting our day right. So, um... A couple things I need you to organize with my life, since the show has show slowly shifted into um, 
Drew's life is a mess for for no reasons. Like Drew's life is pretty good, but he sees it as a mess. Um, so, and Rob Rob helps fix it. So here we go. Here's this week's conundrums. You know the Q Q Paulie or what the fuck is his name? Paul Schaefer. Oh, the conundrums, eh? Um. Oh, are we talking late show uh, backing uh, the 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 color guy? The color commentating guy. Yeah, he's white. Yeah, that's well. That's what I. You said the, co- the color God. guys. You I mean, you can't. You know. In context, I mean, you can't. Can you not? Can people connect some dots themselves <laughs> these days? Uh, not the ones that uh, connect to me being racist. Uh, you're not. No, you're not. You're, 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 you're not racist. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was just saying. I was. He's, yeah, he's the color commentary guy. Yeah. That's a lot of words. I was trying to get. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to streamline this process. I'm I trying see. to get us on. Tr- keep us on track, and you you just derail us. I appreciate it. I'm just. I'm. You know. I was just trying to. I'm just trying to explain to the person that maybe they don't know what a color commentator is or does. So. You're you're right. You, we're not. You're no. You did everything correctly. I'm sorry. Good. Um, other day, right? You think uh, about that for a while. Other other day, um, I'm at work. You know, going about my business. Had a had to pee. Right. We have we have specific bathrooms that we use. They're locked. You have to unlock them with the key. Um, how do you know if somebody else is in there? Well, I'll tell you. You lock it, and the little button presses comes out on the the door on the other side, so you know it's occupied. So. You know not to go in there. But anyways, um, I went to... You have a key. I do have a key, yeah. I'm, I'm part of the staff, therefore I get the key to the bathroom. Um, I went there, went in the bathroom, walk in there, urine all over the toilet seat. And I was like, "What? what's going on here? Like, This is where the adults go, right? This is where the espon- responsible people, uh, community members, um, contributing to society. This is where we, we do our business. This is where we have to go. Why are we not wiping wiping the toilet seat off? I got in the conundrum, right? Because I was like, I clearly didn't do this because I haven't gone yet. Had to go, though. I, 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 cl- I did clean the toilet seat because my biggest fear was... If I don't, the person behind you is going to, right. Going to, yeah. Yeah. I already, I was, I was, uh, you were three words into this and I was already thinking of yelling out, you clean it, you clean it, you clean it, uh, clean it. Uh, uh, but first you get to take a really stress-free piss. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. Uh, right. You you don't have to worry about any splashing. You don't have to worry. Like you can splash all over that thing because, uh, you know, you got to clean it. Uh, it's, It's just, uh, you might as well. Uh, you know, let it, let it, just let it, let it, let it do its thing like a, like a, but, like a fire hose. But what if it's like, if it's like really, really gross, right? Really gross in there. And, and like, I don't have to, I'm not obligated to, to clean it. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to, to clean it after another adult uses the, the, the restroom. But um, do you like, if, if, if a person walks out and goes and did say I didn't clean it, right? I walk out and I say, Hey, there's a mess in there. It, it, it really wasn't me, and I'm not comfortable right now cleaning this up. It's not my job. It's not my responsibility. Just know it wasn't me. You think that person going to believe me? Do I have that conversation? Do I put that uh, responsibility so. on them? Uh, well, you are passing the buck because yep. you'll never find out who actually did it. Um, but I don't think that the guy that does it says anything when he walks out of the the bathroom mm-hmm. but some people might be of the other mindset where it's like oh i think the uh, uh protest too much i think uh i think you just didn't want to clean up your own mess to me i just clean it because it's it takes it takes very like at a bar i'll even do that uh, uh you. it's like all right uh, what 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 what, are, what are you what what don't shame me for cleaning uh, a toilet for the person behind me, uh, uh, so that I don't get blamed for it. I'm gonna wash my hands, uh, and I'm not trying to get anything on my hands in the first place. Like I do it as discreetly as possible. Uh, 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 I think that if if more people in our society were willing to just clean up, uh, uh, take the take the ten seconds to 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 do it, as opposed to uh, raising a flag about it or, or or putting it on a banner and standing outside of the the bathroom and going so there's piss on this toilet seat there's p- like uh, uh, uh if you miss uh, wipe the piss if you you know whatever uh, uh, like uh, uh then we'd have we'd have cleaner toilet seats uh if it's just like you know what it takes it it takes me 10 seconds to wipe it and then another 60 seconds to wash my hands which i was gonna do anyway because i'm going to the bathroom uh so technically you've added 10 seconds to uh uh to the, to the process 
uh, standing outside that that door with your with your sign takes all day uh, out of your life. Why 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 do you want to take that? You've now thought about this. We're now talking about this. Um, I've had this situation come up in, in my life as well. I'm sure we've talked about it then. Uh, to me, I just go: Is it worth the mental anguish, uh, or is it is it just easier to wipe the seat and go? Somebody's an asshole out there. Oh yeah, that's right. We live amongst humans, and they they exist. Assholes exist. Uh, and I, I'm just throwing this out here. Definitely gone into a bathroom after a female when there's nobody else in the bar, uh, and the seat is plastered with fucking piss. Every, I mean, this is a hover. Women, uh, if you're going to hover, fucking lift the seat. Uh, uh, have a little respect. We've been being told this as men our entire lives, and we just we deal with it because, you know what? I'm not complaining about dealing with it. Uh, uh, but if you're going to point that finger at us, look in the mirror. Okay. If you hover, lift the seat. Last year, somebody um, wrote an email to the entire staff about it. Isn't that crazy? Jonah's, about the, the, Jonah's so upset right now. He doesn't like... He doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't even have a seat to pee on. <laughs> they got right, me in this... Wherever I am, the world is yeah. my bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my waist is my toilet seat. Right, I pee right. all over it every day. He sure does. Um, but yeah, somebody... Last year, somebody sent out uh, an email to the entire staff with a little little poem, I forget what it was, but uh, it's like, yeah, that that was not the good, that was not the appropriate response. You shouldn't have done that. Um, but anyways, conundrum one. I mean, you 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 could go as far as to uh, uh, printing up little business cards that say, "This was not me. I did not do this." Uh, <laughs> sign it and then Drew Drew Glacier uh, on the uh, uh, on the bottom, and then every time you go into a bathroom where there's piss on the seat, you just set it right on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did not do this. Or it could just be like a napkin with a message on it. So at least like I'm starting the process of cleaning it. Yeah, you right? just set it on the pee on the on seat. It, so, yes. And it's got the that ink that, that shows up with urine. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, wait, wet. no, urine, urine can be used as, as invisible ink. Is that true? Am I right? I don't Something know. like that? No, I'm not really you sure. You heat it up? I don't know. Well, uh, go watch uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. And I think it's, no, it's, uh, what? It, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Anyways. All right. So Dilemma, dilemma 1 solved. Thank you. Clean it. That that that's the gist of it, right? Um, it's the gist of it. Just be a good human being, and 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 uh, uh, which it doesn't make you any better or worse, I guess. But it's like a, a path of least resistance. Just clean it, then you don't have to deal with your right. uh, mental anguish. I did, and that's what I did. So I, I did the right thing. Thank you. Um, situation number two, and this one is a little. I'm going to explain it to you, and you might think this guy really has issues. Like there, there's something wrong with him. He I, I had this. Con I had conversations with Dre for the last uh, two hours this morning, uh, trying to untie knots in my brain and uh, realizing I have a real problem in certain aspects. So I'm yeah. ready for it. I've, I'm primed for this. Thank you. Uh, I've, yeah. Okay. So haircut situation here going on. Okay. I, I got a haircut from a person that i, I was know. gonna say i really love the hair i was well, literally I have, just thinking i've about been it. wearing a hat today so i look like no it looks i love i, I look I like, like jimmy what neutron doing. uh meets johnny bravo but anyways um so i got this haircut a, a while ago by this 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 person i know who really great person really nice person ashton is is, is tight they're with with their kid like good friends with their kid um they hang out so I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to build community, trying to do this stuff. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you, you do hair still? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you a haircut. Okay. So I went to the, got the haircut by him. Um, he's learning. He's learning. He's in school. Uh, he just graduated recently from from the school, you know, and he's got to get, he's going to get um, his license and everything. So this was, this is before that, right? Um, it was, it was fine. Wasn't the worst haircut I ever had. Wasn't the best haircut I ever had. Um, it was, I had to drive kind of far to get it. Cause that's just where he was at the time. And I was like, okay, well, and it was, it was just kind of not, not to their fault, but for the people around, it was kind of a weird experience and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, the haircut was okay. I was like, yeah, yeah. Cause none I just, of what you made sense make, none of what you just said made sense to me. It, it, it was a weird situation because of the people around or yes. for the people around. A, no, because of the people who are also there getting their haircut. Like I was. Why is that? 
I'll tell you. I need to know more. I'll tell you later. Um, it was just weird. Were they joking around and talking about sports and stuff or what? No, um, <laughs> they weren't. Um, it, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you. Did later. you go to a barber, like a real barber shop? Uh huh. So like a like a like a like the movie, the barber shop. Yeah. Is that was is, so? Am I am I deduced? that that, okay. that aspect of it wasn't weird. That aspect of it wasn't weird. It was, it was the guy that's on the phone screaming at his mother's child or his child's mother, and like, like pull up then, pull up then, and stuff like that. I was just like, what, what the fuck is going? I just want to get my hair cut. Um, you know. It, See, okay, I thought I thought it was like uh, you you go you walked into like a community barbershop and you're the new guy. I've done that. It was. It, it was and, also and that. Like they, they they've got their they're they're joking about things that that they clearly have had co- these conversations before, and there's inside uh, inside baseball happening, and 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 you're a rookie, and and it, uh, whatever that means. That kind of that kind of was going on, and but that's that that that, 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 that didn't bother me. me. So like I've had I've had when I came out here and went to a barber shop, like the the guy was like, "Why are you sweating?" <laughs> like, it's like i'm nervous man i'm sorry i don't know how to do this i'm not a barbershop guy uh, that part of it so that... anyway all right well, so the, the haircut is is okay it's not not bad it's not not great yeah and i was uh, just the, this experience was uncomfortable so what's your conundrum so okay so then whatever I, I continue living my life well now i just got another haircut right from somebody else but but i have to see this person when i pick the kid up from basketball practice because his kid also plays basketball. I've worn a hat every single time, a winter hat. I, I because ever since I've gotten this haircut, one I don't even like this haircut that much either. So now I'm in like this this situation where I'm so like I feel bad. I feel bad that I didn't that I didn't go back. I was like I should have gone back. He's at a different place now. He's closer to closer to home. I don't have to worry about driving thirty minutes to go get a haircut. And you know it wasn't. And I like I think I like that one better than the, the one I currently have. So I didn't I didn't go back strictly because I was like, well, I just want a better haircut, and I didn't get a better haircut. But now I feel so like guilty that I didn't go back to him because great he's a great person, and um, I think he'll do a good job again if I go back. But I'm I'm so embarrassed. I have I put a winter hat on, so it's like you can't even see the sides. I pull it down, so like you don't even know I got a haircut because I don't I don't want that I, so uh, I don't what, want that what, awkward moment you... of. Hey, go, yeah. go, either a go back to the to the guy, which I think you should, because if he's new to cutting hair, yeah, you can you can mold him into the barber you need him to be. Uh, uh, you know, like uh, uh, because it's like you're one of his first customers, probably you know him personally, uh, and I don't think that uh, like I think barbarism uh, uh, uh that's not what they call it i don't think uh i think barbarism is a different thing uh but you know uh uh, uh the actor or art of cutting hair is a thing where if it's done wrong it's the beauty of it is that the hair grows back and um and in that you can go all right this time what i like uh th- like uh you know th- the last one was a little little this a little that a little a little too much here a little too little there uh, can we can we can we try something a little different this time? And they're not gonna go like, uh, is it like if you said that to Picasso and he set his canvas on fire and said like, oh, yeah. how do you like that for art? Uh, uh, you know, I don't like you don't have to worry about it because no matter what, it gets ruined over time because of aging. Uh, it's it's that's it's like uh, barbers are like God. Uh, uh, they watch their their creation uh, slowly become worse and worse and and. Uh, and until they have to, and it's dead anyway, so they have to cut it all off again, and that's that's the art of it. Um, I think that they have to be a little bit uh, okay with somebody going like, hey, "It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the, the it wasn't the greatest haircut." Um, because me, I, I'm like you, like every haircut I've gotten from um, uh, where I, I I cut my own hair now, and it's terrible. But at least I can say I did it, and I'm the one to blame. Uh, uh, but when I go and get my haircut somewhere, and they go, "Oh, what do you think?" Like. They're asking me, do you want me to change anything? And my first, like, I, I take one glance, and I go, that's perfect. That's the greatest haircut I've ever gotten. Oh, my God. You're, you're, a, you're a master with the scissors. And then I walk out, and I go, where's my hat? Where's my hat? Um, you know, That's like what that. I do, and the that's two. Not, but like, and I don't, like, yeah, not, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, well, this last one I got, I don't like. And, but the damage has been done. The only solution is, 
shave shave it shave it off no no it's not you can let it grow let it grow out a little bit and, and then, then they you get all the comments they, they can't work with a shaved head you know they well, gotta they yeah. need the hair there i know but um, i'm just saying that that's like my only solution if i really don't like it is to shave it and then just start start a deal. well you 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 could shave it and then when you go to that guy and he's like well why don't you come in and have and it's like well i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pay you to shave it i just wanted to see what it looked like uh, but if you shaved your head because you got a haircut from a different barber, uh, then I would say, yeah, you need, you've got some mental issues. Uh, uh, like well, I put uh, on a hat, I put on a hat knowing yeah, like, yeah, I'm going to see this person. Is, uh, that's understandable. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Seinfeld did an episode about this. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not an un, uh, warranted idealism. Uh, uh, but I would say, give this guy another shot. He's new to it. He's, uh, uh, just, but, but be willing to go like, I'm going to tell you what I want. And you need to learn how to deal with it. So better it come from somebody that you have a relationship with. Like sure. this, this was a little this, this was a little that. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe don't talk about, uh, 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 you know, um, I don't know. My my brain instantly goes to the worst things. Don't talk about bad things. Uh, uh, you know, like I don't know what he talks about. I don't know this guy. He's a good guy. He's not talking about bad things. Right. Uh, he's just trying to uh, cut cut some hair. Help him. Help them with the process. You know, the first thing they say when you when you sit down, hey, how do you feel about all this uh, Israel Palestine stuff? Huh? Yeah, I love, that was oh, what gosh. I was going to say, but I was like, I was like, oh boy, I don't even want to bring that up uh, uh, in in a in a when I, even when I'm going like, uh, uh, don't talk about the worst thing that you can think about to talk about that divides people so much. Right. Uh, used to be used to be Nazis uh, before uh, used to be slavery. Now it's Israel Palestine. There, there's a lot like you know, uh, uh, Bill Cosby. Not that's another one. Don't talk about Bill Cosby. Michael Jackson, uh, Kevin Spacey, yeah, um, yeah. So, and, uh, I, usually, so and I usually don't talk about those things. Um, I, nor do I think about those those people. But I know. sit down in a bar in a barber chair, and the first thing I say is Kevin and Spacey and and Bill Cosby <laughs> walk into a Palestinian bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what what happened to the days of the you know the debates of like hot dogs? Are they a sandwich? Why why can't we just do that and go back to those times? You know? Yeah, well, that's I'm 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 yeah I'm bringing back. Uh, I, I just had a conversation uh, last night at a party I went to the uh, about the uh, how how deodorant is a capitalistic. Uh, uh, oh, it's it, it's a takeover of of our no, nasal capacity. Uh, the, they are the ones that told us that we smell bad and told us here's a scent that you want to smell, mm, uh, and enough. they monetized it uh, and 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 they 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 slapped a label on it. They they put a dollar t sign on it and. And you know it's a, and and then they sold it to us. They sold it to. Uh, sorry, I'm doing a, uh, a, a Jurassic Park Gold Bloom. Yeah, that's a fair question. Um, so, all right, so conundrum two solved. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just just I, I would say give the guy another shot. Uh, and and even it's it, like you could even say if he says, oh, this these don't look like my 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 cuts. When you sit back down there, uh, just go. Know. Yeah, man, I, I had to get a, I had to get a haircut. Uh, uh, he knows hair. He's gonna you're gonna sit down there and he's gonna go. I don't know. Your hair is pretty short for how long it's been. I know how <laughs> hair grows. <laughs> you know, like uh, and, uh, you're gonna just go. Yeah, man, I needed a, I needed a haircut. I stopped off and got one and and it was worse. It, it, it was a, it was a bad haircut. So yeah, uh, sure. uh, if you can salvage it, I'd appreciate it. And that'll make him feel good whilst also telling the truth. I, uh, um, yeah, that, 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 that's good advice. I'm going to, I should, every week, I think I'm going to bring you some conundrums that I face and you'll be my, my guy to, to tell me what to do. That's what I need. I need more direction. Um, I think, I think another question, and I, I think, I think we need to start like when we interview people going forward, we need to have like one universal question that we ask every single guest, right? Just to kind of get, okay. kind of lay that thing. Uh, I think that question is, and I'd like to start, start with, with your opinion on it, I've had this debate um, recently. What is the most important ingredient to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Um, yeah, you got me stumped on that one. I mean, there's only three, um, right? I know there's only three. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say, I know that doesn't really. Um, this, this, it's a conundrum. It's a conundrum, and I. All three ingredients are in the title because you can't have a sandwich without bread. Actually, there's bread, one so ingredient that's not. Well, I guess sandwich. You're right. You're right. But that's what I'm saying. Sandwich it denotes bread. There has to be bread, so that's right in the name too. Um, uh, but no sand, obviously. Uh, yeah, enough. yeah. Or witches. Well, that's the, that's that's the witchery of it. Is uh, ah, hey, yeah. look at that um, word wordplay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Uh, uh, um, we're like, I'm going like to say... Improv comics right now. We're just, we're just vibing. <laughs> just ripping. Yeah. Ripping. That's, this is why we should drink. We should just drink coffee. The <laughs> beer taste that takes it off. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, most, in, more, most important ingredient. I'll this tell you mine after question. yours. I, I'm going to say that. Like, uh, is can my can my answer be to protest the question itself? No, you have to answer it because you can't make it without one of the ingredients. You're like, right. if you, but it, what is the most a, important you, one? There is there no. So I'll tell you this. I, okay, are we talking in terms of ratios here, or in terms no, just, of like, just what, what, pure like, importance? The peanut butter. It's the peanut butter. You're right. It is the peanut butter. It There's is a no peanut right butter. answer to this question. It is. That's it's... like uh, the, the question I ask a lot of people is, what What do you think? What's Milk's favorite cookie? And then I argue that no matter what <laughs> that, their answer that, that's is. A good, that's a good question. We could ask that too. Um, it's amazing how many people don't, like you'd think that they would go for the default Chocolate chip. Answer that, Jesus, you're wrong. Like what? That's that, not no. That's, I'm saying that's the default answer, right? I'm not. No, that's no, not my or, opinion. Oreos. 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 Yes. Oreos. I'm with you. Default. Uh, but but that's where uh, uh, I that's when I, I go into a tirade about uh, Oreos being uh, they're, they're, they're capitalistic Nazis that propagate oh, the, the market about who's who can go into who can who's allowed to dunk into the milk uh, and who's who who milk likes best and and uh, not that chocolate but a lot of like they put they did their ad campaign on 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 milk's favorite cookie and yet there's still people out there that say chocolate chip there's still people out there that say uh, uh, you know, like uh, these random things. So it's very, it's, and it, it's, I've, I've had hour, hours of discussion about that. Uh, 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 and, and it's, you always get a different answer and it's an interesting, uh, for me, that's, that's a, that's a good lead in question also. Well, I'll tell but you. But peanut butter and jelly sandwich thing go. Why, why is peanut butter the most peanut important? Butter, just cause like, that's like. It's your that, base. It, it, it's a base, but it's also like, that is what you need. You can, the, the jelly comes in so many varieties and, and peanut butter kind of does chunky or not chunky right that chunky or creamy that's about it but yeah but you get organic now you get uh, grass-fed sure. you get uh but the taste uh, almond. I, th I just think the taste of peanut butter is just, is powerful that's really where you get like the girth of the of the sandwich that's where you get like that's where you just get, it packs the punch right and it's the bread bread is very important but i will argue you could use crackers you could use like ritz crackers put pb and j on it and it, I think, the taste is pretty much just as powerful. Like you're, you're not removing much by replacing the bread with with crackers. I think you're wrong about that. I think the bread is uh, uh, just as important. But that's oh. that's my take on it. But also, like uh, I was at this uh, thing last night, and there's a guy there that makes his own jams and mm. and, and and jellies. And the I for him, I he's not he's not going to go with us on this peanut butter thing. He, he's he's an artful craft craftarian uh, uh, jam jammer jam maker. We're talking about guy. we're talking about um, the moms and the pops of America. We're talking we're talking, we're talking Welch's Welch's grape uh, oh, jelly. You're uh, wrong. Jif, Jif, you know. You're wrong. Smuckers. Well, I'm not. No, uh, I'm a Welch's guy. Are you kidding me? Smuckers, dude. Made in Ripon, Wisconsin. Home of the Republican Party, which I personally wouldn't flaunt that, but uh, they do. Um, and they also make Bang & Jelly. Wait, is Smuckers, I think they're out of business, actually. I guess it's well. Yeah, just, probably. Fuck, yeah. Uh, you're right. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm going off of the idea that uh, uh, every, if I'm if I'm eating peanut butter and jelly in, in the, at this stage in the game, which, uh, don't get me wrong, a peanut butter and jelly is an amazing sandwich. Mm. Uh, uh, might be one of the best. But uh, at, 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 like as a as a thirty six year old uh, single person, if that's what I'm reaching for, it's because I don't have any money. <laughs> so Welch's is the cheap jelly. Uh, Jif, you, I I go Jif because Jif is the greatest peanut butter. Uh, they uh, the mar ad ad marketing worked on me for Jif. Uh, I don't like the Peter Pan. I don't like the Skippy. Uh, I need Jif. Uh, Jif and huh? bread, you know. Bread goes all over the place. I'll, I'll I'll put peanut butter and jelly on any bread. The type of bread doesn't matter, but I do think bread needs to be there. I don't call peanut butter and jelly on a bagel a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But it is. But it's not. It's so much not. It's that's that's. I don't know. I don't I don't call a bagel with cream cheese a sandwich. Depends how you eat it. Are you eating it with both with the top and the bottom, or are you eating Depends half? How much time I have? If I'm in a hurry, <laughs> how yeah, much absolutely. Time are you? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just saying. Because if you go to McDonald's and you get a breakfast sandwich, it, in the bagel form, it it's considered a sandwich. To them, yeah. But why are we letting McDonald's choose these things for us? They have enough power. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> They already they already control the monopoly market, you know. Yeah. Do they still do that? Uh, do they still do the monopoly game? Oh, I, I don't think so because like somebody, uh, uh, they did it after either, that thing. So, somebody leaked the fact that it's a like they 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 never came out with Boardwalk or something like that. Well, like, no, uh, no, uh, the FBI investigated that. The FBI got because it was like it was like a mob, a mob agreement. It was it's crazy. There's a documentary about it. I watched it. Um. It's called McMillions, where people would like, essentially, the winning piece would get stolen by somebody in a facility, right, in the factory that's making it, would steal it. They would sell that to somebody and say, okay, this is the half million dollar piece. You're going to pay me $100,000 for this. And then you, and then that person, obviously you can win it once, right? But then they kept happening. So they had to give it to somebody else. And kind of yep. the same thing, like, all right, the fi- the the finder fee for this guy is a hundred thousand. You're gonna give me fifty percent of what's left, and you're gonna get the rest. And it's uh, and like legitimately. So it never, it never, yeah, it never even got it. Never, like it, the corruption went right to the uh, printing press. Kind, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, like, because in I I could see how like in this day and age now where we are all connected. Mm-hmm. Uh, via yeah. Instagram or whatever, like uh, with a game like that, it's not hard to go like hashtag I have Boardwalk, right. uh, and then like somebody's like, uh, all right, I'm looking for the person with Boardwalk because I got the other one, and that's the that's the uh, uh, that's sure. the million dollar prize. Oh, okay, you've got that, I've got this. I'll like let's 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 meet up in the middle, and we'll put together our pieces. We'll get this million. We'll we'll split it down the yeah. middle, and then we'll head out. You know. Um, Maybe. It's 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 not. I don't think it says anywhere in the in, like. Would would it be the same if I gave you uh 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 what's the uh, the purple ones? Uh, I don't know. Boyd Street. If I gave you Boyd, like uh, <laughs> and you 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 win a free fry. Like, are they gonna come back at you and go? Like, I heard you shared your. I I, <laughs> uh, I I you didn't you didn't get all these yourself. You owe us uh, uh, for the fries. <laughs> you know, it's like they're not gonna do that, but they. They might for that. I don't know. You know, it's like, how do you, but, how do you pull uh, yeah, Boyd? How do you how do you pull Boyd Street out of your? You don't even really <laughs> live that close to Boyd Street. I don't know why. I don't. <laughs> oh, interesting. That's uh, where yeah. where is Boyd Street again? It was like by the fairgrounds. Yeah, I don't know why I came up with Boyd. <laughs> that job. Interesting, but yeah, um, I think that I think that those are good questions to ask people. Obviously, we can't like allow like thirty minutes of debate, but. Well then, then we got to get we got to take the cookie question off the table because it always leads to a thirty minute discussion. Every time I've asked somebody, it goes. I mean, it's pro- mostly me talking, so I guess I could just table my my cookie <laughs> rhetoric. Uh, well, what's the right answer then? There is no right answer. Uh, so what's your uh, answer? You, if, uh, 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 what's my answer? Mm-hmm. My favorite uh, cookie to dip in. It's milk. not. It's not. It's not your favorite cookie. It's milk's favorite cookie. Well, that's the thing. I would say Oreos because right. Oreos are garbage without milk. But uh, Oreo yeah. has turned its back on that because one in three packs don't suck up the milk, and that I have a real problem with that. Like <laughs> yeah, you, we've you talked about this them, before. Yeah, yeah we can, you can leave them in the milk for a long time, and they just come out crunchy. So uh, then you default to chocolate chip, homemade maybe. I you know it's like. Uh, uh, but sometimes who's making the cookies, how much yeast did they, how do you make cookies? Is there yeast in there? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we really uh, need know. to find a topic that like we're experts in and we can actually <laughs> really? like, yeah, yeah, provide yeah. like we, some meaningful we be experts insight and not being ex- an ex- expert in anything. Right. That would be good. But, um, all right. Well, a lot, a lot of conundrums, a lot of, a lot of questions being solved. I think, I think the world is now a better place. Um, in, in about an hour, but, Rob, I'm headed to Lambeau Field. Yeah, yeah. I will say I do like the peanut butter and jelly question just because that will – every guest that – like when they answer, we won't even – like we don't even need to, to expound on it. We can just like – they answer and then we go, all right, now we know what type of person you are. Let's begin the interview. And we have to say that. We know we yeah. know who, we now know who we you know are. what kind of person you are, so that's going to direct our line of questions. And then we just – and then we just like if they like if they answer peanut butter, we're like – we we we're like we're like 
you know, real kind, open, having this honest conversation. If they say bread, we're like, okay, you know, we're like, then we're like kind of like assholes. But then if they say jelly, because jelly is the least important of it, let's let's be honest. Um, and then we're just, just like, get the fuck off this show. Yeah, yeah, no, just, just like kidding. One, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> but uh, no, that that yeah, that is a good question. But yeah, I'm getting ready for the Packer game. Um, I went so another conundrum, right? Here we are. Here we are. I went to the store this morning because I don't have a Packer winter hat. Probably should have one, right? You got to have one. You got to rep it. I'm wearing my Packer drug rug. Um, nice. I don't, do people outside of Wisconsin call this type of attire a drug rug? I didn't call that a drug rug when I was in Wisconsin. So that's a, this is the first time I've ever heard that. No that way. Term. Yeah. Really? Yep. You know why they call it a drug rug, right? Because it's like hippie. Yeah, yeah, it looks shit. like a, it's it looks like a, a Ron's surf shop, uh, 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 tight knit, hemp, mm-hmm. uh, uh, weed smoker garb. Right, right. Yeah, this is this is brought to me as a gift from. And Mex- with your messy hair, Mexico. your messy beard, and that, you look like uh, you would enjoy some Oreo cookies and milk, and you a know, peanut butter and jelly. Say sandwich. what you want about my hair, but my beard doesn't look that messy. Looks pretty good actually. I like I like it. I like the look. I like it. Yeah. I'm like I'm like the dude, the Big Lebowski almost. You you, you kind of, yeah you kind of do have a dude vibe going. <laughs> but um, I, I was really I was really like looking at the stores and I was like, what the hell should I wear? Like I got a I got a you know, a simple a, a simple rep. a simple Packer sweatshirt does the job. Not to me. I gotta I gotta yeah. figure it out. Um, I didn't really get much. I just bought the hat and then I bought some gloves. So I got you, you should you should make a sign that says I smoke the green. No. <laughs> I'm not, not going to do that. Um, then, then the odds are that would get me on TV. And then, you know, tomorrow when I'm at work, I get pulled you into get the office. Tomorrow. They're like, can you explain this? And I'm like, oh, Green Bay Packers. And it's a joke. And then they tell me to pee in a cup. I would pass. Um, but uh, it would still create, you know, and it'd be like, then, yeah, then yeah, that's just like the uh, lingering yeah, yeah. thing. As you walk down the hall, you see your boss and you're like, yeah. Yeah, but uh, there's always doubt. He's he faked that. He knew we were gonna test him, so he brought in the the fake stuff. Is that is that a thing? Fake fake pee. Yeah, when I started rehab, I relied on it heavily. And you can just get it. Uh, yeah. There's places you can get it. Uh, I I went through. Uh, my dealer had everything, man. I don't know where he got it. What? But he, it was like, yeah, I got it from my drug dealer. Uh, Did you just like? And... Is it like old school? Like where he had the long trench coat? He opened it up. And no, it's like, he just you know the like weed and here's the piss. Uh, but honestly, I was uh, uh for that first year when I was like still doing amphetamines and things like that, like mm. because you have to have uh uh, uh you I had to, I was in a medicated program so. Uh, when I was like working, I could use fake piss for uh, in, in case there was like a, a, an accident at work, right. and I was gonna need to. I always kept like this thing, and you just had to add hot water and and you'd be good to go. Really. Um. And like, but when I was in in rehab, like I had to have methadone in my pee for like the first year. I didn't take it as seriously as I should have. Uh. So I was still doing stuff on the outside, just not all the time. And uh. If I was going to slip, I would pee into uh, in, into a jar, and mm. then I would do Adderall or whatever, and then I would freeze that pee. And then when I when I needed to go in to uh, to to the to to the clinic, you're all you're, it's random. So every day I would just like put a little. I, I knew how much I needed to to fill the cup up in the line, so I'd, I'd take a little thing, I'd put it in the microwave, you heat it up to a certain amount because it's got to be heated, and then I had a little pocket in a pouch in my in my in my underpants and uh, I'd stick it in there and, and then you go in there and you, you, you either get the random piss test or you don't. And then, uh, you know, I live my life that way for a while. That's, and that's like uh, a story that I think a lot of people have. And yeah. That, yeah. that kind of really highlights like, just like what, what addiction looks like. Like it, it's, 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 yeah, what you're alters... willing to go through. I'm drive, driving to the, the clinic in, in fucking, uh, 10 below 10 degree below 
uh, 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 my car's not warmed up, but my thighs are on fire from the uh, <laughs> no. microwaved uh, uh, piss You're that in... I have stored between, like, and I'm just going, just don't cool down, don't cool down, because, uh, if you, you know, the temperature's got to be just, you have to heat it up to, like, 10 degrees above what it needs to be once you get there, mm -hmm. uh, so that it, 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 it cools down to the point where it still measures in the temperature range. So, I mean, I'm I'm super ignorant when it comes to this kind of stuff i've never i've never had to like work with it nobody in my family has ever really been um has experienced it right you're really my own one of, well you're my only friend that's like gone through the process right um and and everything would you say like the phrase like they have to help them they want to have to get better for, like is that is that true because like, obviously oh like, yeah it, you went it, to rehab and you you weren't taking it seriously because you at the time you're just like i don't you might I still not. hadn't come. Yeah, yeah. I still hadn't come to terms with. Uh, I was taking the opiate side of it seriously, but there is still a mentality that that uh, you have to shift. Mm -hmm. And I was always trying to quit that, but you know, um, you're still coping with life. Uh, right. And and so like using like uh, Adderall and stuff was um, something that. Uh, I still that was like where I had to I had to cut that that stuff out, and it took me eight months to a year to like get to the point where I realized like, Oh, things are easier. If I just don't do this, actually doing Adderall makes me more scatterbrained. It makes mm -hmm. me more tired. I can't sleep. Uh, but, uh, and it, it's a vicious cycle because you do the Adderall, you can't sleep. Then you got to do more Adderall to stay awake at work the next day. And then you can't sleep again. And then and it's like, so you're rolling around on two hours of sleep. Um, and like, I did that without it, uh, without it. I just worked third yeah. shift. Oh, well, and, and, and when I was working at, uh, uh, milk specialties, um, I wasn't, I was working 12 hour night shifts, sleeping for two to four hours, like two hours at a time, twice mm -hmm. a day, mm -hmm. no Adderall. I wasn't doing that stuff, but I, and, and it's like, I, it can be done, but you're, you actually feel better without doing the Adderall. Like the Adderall, sure. it, it, it just tricks your brain into going like, this is how I'm going to get, I can get through this. You can get through it without it. And, and it's actually, you you're, you're, you're you feel healthier, you, you work better, you think clearer, but yeah, to, it, it's, it's tough to like explain how, how it is when you, when you have somebody give you the thing you need that you think you need mm -hmm. and go, we're going to help you get this out. So you don't need it anymore. Right. Um, but your brain is still going like, no, but I need, I need this too. And I need this and I need that. And, and, uh, it, it's, I will, I, it wasn't that I wasn't taking it seriously. It was uh, I had to come to terms with the fact that I was a full-on drug addict. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't just a, a heroin addict. I was not just an opiate addict. Mm -hmm. I was. Uh, and I had to look back and go, okay, the like the second time I bought weed in my life, I bought an ounce. Uh, the the third time I Is bought acid in my life, I I, I, I bought. It, well, it's yeah. You normally wouldn't buy like. Uh, doesn't matter how much like like uh, weed's not. I'm not saying weed is addictive, but I'm, I'm just, it's just to paint the idea. Most think, people think, buy an eighth be. of an ounce. That's think... eight times as much as, oh, okay. as people would buy, you know? And it's like uh, the second time I, or third time I bought acid, I bought 300 hits or something like that. And I was like, this is for me. I want this. And this that's is a lot? so I can do it. Three, yeah, you take one hit at a time. Oh, damn. Um, and you're not supposed to take it uh, more than 10 times in your life. <laughs> you what? Know, it's like, uh, yeah, it's like is acid rule? is one of those. No, it's a, uh, by by government standards or something. I just remember always hearing like, "Oh, if you take acid more than more than ten times, like you're you're flirting with insanity," um, and like, uh, uh, but but yeah, it's like I always would just go like, "All right, I I, I like this, so I'm gonna buy a a lot of it, so mm -hmm. I can do it when I want to do it. I don't want to be bogged down with the ideas of of." uh when it's available to me no i want it available all the time and, right. and uh that's like an addictive mindset and uh so i had to like go like even before i started doing opiates i was already um thinking that way and so i had to apply that model to all drugs uh and it took me about eight months to a year somewhere in there of rehab before i i hit that that moment of going of clarity uh and and it it does it's it's yeah, I, I know a lot of drug addicts that, that you know, they'll say, I can give up this, but I, I don't need to give up that. Mm -hmm. And it's like me with drinking. I, I'm, you know, it's like I, I keep my drinking in, in check, 
I drink often, but not in excess. Uh, you know, so it's like I'm I have a drink a night. That's uh, considered alcoholism, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But on the days when like uh, when I go, I don't feel like drinking. I don't drink. Uh, like it's like I I'm gonna sit at home and and do what I want to do. Uh, it's not like oh. I, I don't really want to drink, but I need a drink. Uh, Right. it's, it, uh, and maybe that's justification. Maybe people are listening to this going, uh, you know, Rob's on a slippery slope again. Um, I don't think you but are. it's, yeah, it's, it, it's something that if you're willing to at least address it in your mind and go like, if this becomes a thing where every night I go, I, I, I want to drink, I want it. It's like, I, 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 I really enjoy the days where I go, you know what? I don't. I don't want to, I, 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 and it's the days that I don't want to drink are the days that I don't want to go and talk to people. I don't want company mm -hmm. because that's, what's addictive to me about going down to Tony's is, uh, uh getting out of my head and, and, and having conversations with good people and things like that. So, uh, if, if I don't want to talk, like I just go, I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to sit at home and drink. I'm not going to, I don't right. want that. Like I never do that. Um, And, and I think once, if, if that ever changes where I'm like, I don't want to go to the bar, but I'm going to drink at home. That's when I, I will really have to have a serious conversation. Even when I go, I want to drink at home. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's when I'll have, have to go, okay, it's time to stop for a while because, uh, that to me is the, that's like the threshold I won't cross, uh, is, is having to drink by myself in my house. It's interesting. Like you were, you're talking about, you know, you're buying things in excess and, um, things like that now I, I i can't relate i cannot relate to it obviously um because i've never really i've i've never done any of that stuff um i but i i have done it with food many times you know where uh it's i eat this i used to eat those mcdonald's steak and egg breakfast sandwiches which are amazing oh god they're so good um And I would, it would get to the point where they come on bread or bagels, um, still a sandwich. <laughs> um, so it would be, um, I'd go to the one, you know, across town on, on Johnson street, right? There's two on Johnson street, one on the East side, one on the West are we, side. Are we, are we talking? Yeah. Are we talking pick and save or are we talking, uh, uh, Piggly Wiggly? Both. So, well, let me get to it. So <laughs> I would, uh, I would, oh, both, both. I think I know where we're going here. Okay. All right. I would go. To the one on East Johnson, or you know, and uh, get my sandwich. I'd be like, "Oh, that's so good!" And it was like, "I, I kind of, I need more. I need another one." Even though I just consumed fourteen hundred calories in one <laughs> fucking sandwich, and it's like I can't go through the drive-through again at the same place because people are gonna be like, "What the fuck, this dude again?" So I drive across town and, and visit the other, and it's it's a whole new experience, a whole new person. Nobody knows that I've already consumed one of these. <laughs> I'm getting another. It's your secret, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's that, weird. That, yeah. There's like there's that it's, shame. It, like there's it's, that. It's it's funny how your your yours and my uh, uh, shame button gets pushed in different <laughs> ways because like for me I uh, the McGriddles like I was a I was a big McGriddle oh, yeah. fan. Those and are like, so uh, bad. For I, you. I would I would go through the drive through and and like get a McGriddle and and eat it before I had even driven to the <laughs> out the driveway and then just do a Yui and go <laughs> back through the drive through and then, like they'd be like you can I go yeah it's too good yeah, I'm back but that's where my shade or like um uh, you know what you know you know what my name is job security motherfucker job. Uh, uh you don't have to worry about going anywhere another another low point in my in my in that is that like so this is where like i always my mind says like uh when it comes to like addiction like food was kind of my addiction for a long time you know and that's why i, I did gain a ton of weight at one point and was almost like see and that's that's but, that's a, that is the same just so you know like when you say you don't understand or you don't have a frame of reference uh you do uh, yeah. because they're like uh, that it's the it's the same uh mental core like uh regions of the brain that make you when you get into a situation where you're stressed or where you're sad yeah, you or where eat. you're yeah. this like your your brain goes go go and 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 just like uh uh go go eat because that's your solace that's your comfort z zone where it's like i i don't need it. that's cigarettes you know cigarettes yeah. are the same thing where it's like They don't help you at all, but they they make you for a moment like because that's what your brain tells you to do, to cope. I'm sorry. All right. all right, go on. So, another another like low point in this is, I would like I would understand. I am ordering a lot of food 
for one person to be consumed for one person to be consuming. So my, like, again, it's all about, I don't want, I don't want the person at the drive through like being like, what is, what is up with this person? You know, what's happening? So I would order two drinks. <laughs> so then it's like, oh, he's bringing, he's bringing half of this to, to somebody else. Got two drinks. Two. Not Okay. So I'm going to say, not only is this similar to the <laughs> drug addict mentality, it is exactly <laughs> the same. This is uh this is that's the same as me going to a a, a, a family gathering where they're drinking and there's people drinking in my family and but when you're using heroin and methadone and and oxycontin and so, drinking is a no no you're not supposed to like that's how people die right. uh, but I would I would I would I would I would tempt fate and and just go if I don't drink they're gonna think that I'm using that I'm that I'm uh, 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 that I'm an addict that I'm using they must that's the first thing they're gonna go to is I'm a heroin addict mm-hmm. uh, for you it's like if there's only one drink then they're gonna know that I'm eating all this food by myself they could they could just go like oh it's one person wants a drink uh, 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 he's got he's got kids at home and they need they need uh, uh, orange juice instead right uh, but you go like no no you go out of your way to do things that are like unnecessary. <laughs> Uh, my cousin used to he used to uh, leave the door open a crack when he would go to the bathroom and he would act like he was taking a massive shit while he's shooting up in the bathroom. Oh, no. Uh, uh, yeah. And it's like he would dare people to walk in. But but under the guise of I'm going to give you more information than you need mm-hmm. so that you don't think that I'm doing what I'm actually doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, when in reality, if you just went in there, closed the door and came back, the the logical uh, thought for people would just be, oh, he just had to take a shit, you know, right. uh, but you overplay uh, and, and like for what you want them to believe. That's right. what you're doing when you buy two drinks. You, you want them to believe that you have a family somewhere that's that's starving. <laughs> but, and uh, uh, that's that's so interesting to me. It is the exact same like mentality of like you live the lie for a moment so that you can. You, and it's part of the excitement, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah. You know, it's like you have to sit there and think that out and go like, all right, all right. I'm going to get three Big Macs, two large fries. That's a lot. I want a Coke. Uh, one th- if I get two Cokes, if oh. I get two Cokes, uh, and it's not just two Cokes. It's not just two Cokes. It's one's a, one's a diet. Oh, <laughs> so you go even further? <laughs> yes, that's that's. Uh, 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 I haven't done this. I haven't done that in a, in, in a very long time. But yeah, dude, like especially like, well, and for whatever reason, sometimes you know, like it would be like two in the morning after I DJ at a wedding. It's like you're not. You're not bringing this food to somebody else. <laughs> You're gonna go and sleep digest that. Which right, it's not good for you. Yeah, it's uh, it is really a thing. Like I, it was, it was yeah, interesting. Um, and it was, uh, it was all food related, you know, and that's why I think like I I put on so much weight so quickly when I did, um, and this is like, you know, I don't know, six seven years ago, but uh, um, yeah, it, it interesting stuff, and I still like even now like with um. With you know, I've 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 drastically changed the way I eat. I I changed what I eat, but now I'm like, I get sometimes every once in a while, I I kind of like refer back to some old habits. I go, all right, well, uh, what did I have this morning? I had my I, I had my creatine thing, my creatine shake, 150 calories after I worked out. Drink a protein shake as well, or whatever. Lunch, you know, it was pretty light, so I can go. I can go to Taco Bell and get you know two spicy potato. Uh, tacos and the fiesta veggie burrito um and those aren't those yeah, you, aren't those aren't the best for you by any means but uh fuck they're well good. what 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 you know it's like unless you're gardening for yourself like there's nothing yeah. out there that's no yeah. uh uh i mean they you know it's uh, i i i'm me i have the luxury of going like i don't give a fuck give it to me i it's uh because it doesn't seem to affect me physically uh, other than uh, 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 I feel like garbage when I eat garbage, uh, but mm-hmm. uh, in terms of like um, putting on weight and things like that, I've I keep I, I I think I just burn so many calories through the jobs that I do, like the job that I do and and being semi you know it's like walking places and being active. Mm-hmm. Uh, not that and and not saying that uh, you're not those things, but uh, uh, my body chemistry allows me to burn that stuff away right some people's don't and it's like and you're you're a teacher you're doing more uh uh mental capacity stuff 
I'm like walking all day at work up and down stairs. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, it's like if you did that for if you just exercised basically for uh, uh, 10 hours a day, mm -hmm. like, you know, you'd probably. Yeah. You know, it's like you jumpstart your metabolism. Um, I do. I do. So me, I, I don't I don't I don't have to think about that. If I go to if I go to Taco Bell, I can get the worst thing on the menu and and, and like really just bathe in, in the bad decision. Mm -hmm. Um but uh, and I do that, uh, uh, but I, I still end up with going with the two bean burritos and a cheesy bean and rice because it's cheap and it's it fills me up. Taco Bell is really like for like vegetarians and stuff. It's it's, it's the best fast food options because they have yeah. they have way more than and I mean, McDonald's has nothing. French fries is about it. Um, yeah, well, and if if you they they soak their French fries in poison for uh, seriously, I'm not even joking poison. about this. They spray them with this pesticide where after so that they're they're the I think it's the russet potatoes yeah. or, or uh they have this like uh because they're disease. supposed to be red because they're red but then or no red potatoes are spray painted red I think no yeah these these uh uh, uh these ones like they 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 McDonald's wants no um I know no blemishes yeah. in right. in their in their in their potatoes so like in order to do that how, like there's a uh, a disease that they get which is those little black lines that go through them it's not bad to eat or anything like mm -hmm. that but it looks bad mm -hmm. and they so they spray this pesticides on it where like the farmers spray it and they won't go back out in the fields for days and then they have to pick the potatoes and and let them sit in a warehouse for like 12 days or something to sweat out that poison like that pesticide before they can even be so right now there's a bunch of potatoes that are poisonous sitting in uh in a warehouse somewhere and 12 days from now they will be served at mcdonald's whatever happened to ronald mcdonald you know just like everything else he you know the, uh somebody did like they they found some footage uh <laughs> that, of him and, an uh, old tweet <laughs> yeah Oh, he he said some things to grimace that that uh, <laughs> that that weren't woke that were very 1950s. Um, well, grimace came back. He got a shake, but where, where the fuck is Ron? You know, well, Ron think, McDonald. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. But um, we've we we've we've explored a lot today, and I think we've opened the minds of a lot of individuals. Um, I, I got some Spotify facts about this podcast. I think for like um. There was like five listen five for five people. We were the top podcast that they listened to on Spotify. I think that's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, I think uh, I think we need to thank those people. Thank you. I don't know who uh, they I are. Just got, I just got. I just yeah. I just got on Spotify. Um, you did. Well, we beat out Joe Rogan for five people. That's a, <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. pretty good. Uh, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's we, well. You know, he's he's going the way of Ronald McDonald. So I mean, uh, uh, we beat out uh, uh, Mark Marin. That's impressive. Conan yeah. O'Brien. You know, yeah, Tosh Daniel yeah. Tosh has one now. Oh, does he? And, uh, I'll check that and out. It's fucking awesome. It's so funny. He he doesn't interview yeah, he, celebrities. He just interviews people that he knows. Like the first the first episode is his wife's gynecologist, and it's oh it, nice. It's, okay, it's, it's it's really funny. Like he's yeah he's he's doing a he's still got it. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I got the um because he asked every every guest, do you believe in ghosts? And I was like, well, I think I think we should do that too, like, with, but just with the peanut butter and jelly, you know. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, I, I do want to say this. So I've got this new phone, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, if you swipe it to the to the right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then a news feed comes up. Yeah. And uh, and if anybody has that option and doesn't use it, uh, I I just want to say uh, I've found. It's really fun to scroll through those and read some of the headlines uh, because they are uh, even if, there was there, sometimes they get me, you know, sometimes I, I like I clicked on one the other day and the way that this was written, I read a, a paragraph of it and I, I, I showed it to the person that was next to me. I was like, am I wrong that this sounds so because it's like a uh, uh, water, water, uh, water seeping into planet's core or something like that. Mm hmm. And uh, and then I clicked on it, and the first paragraph was like, uh, <laughs> it's like uh, uh, scientists have found that water uh, water is 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 uh, seeping in, in leaking into a crack uh, uh, into into uh, it's it's leaking down there. That's what they said. It's there's water leaking down there. 
And I was like, you've just taken all your credibility. I couldn't stop laughing. I don't know what, maybe it's not as funny to other people as I thought, but it's like, <laughs> don't, it, you're quoting scientists and you said down there, you mean at the bottom of the, you mean the earth's crust, uh, the mantle, the core, like we're, yeah. it, it's, it's leaking down there. We got a water leak down, down there, there, man. I wouldn't go down there. Water leaks down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, but there's like there's just uh, uh, the, there's another one. And now this might the, I've seen three headlines on this, and I I read one story, but it was very hard to understand. But it's like they found a a, a lost uh, they found a lost blob of water in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. How they know it was lost? I, that's I I. I, I I think based on what I heard, it's like they figured out where the Atlantic Ocean and the uh, what is it, the Indian Ocean down there? What's the what's the or the Arctic Ocean? Mm -hmm. Arctic is at the top. I don't. I'm so I don't have a globe near me. But what, like it's where they they know where certain oceans I actually meet. Do. And, There's a globe and, uh, over there. Uh, uh, like and and they go. This is like this is the where the currents change, and and this is what dictates. This is this ocean versus this ocean. Mm -hmm. Um, it just it's not continental based. There's actually like uh, aqua physics, uh, to it. I guess maybe uh, that's what I got from this article. But then I saw uh, like just now. It's like uh, let, I'll read the actual headline. Um, because it's uh, I don't know. I lost it. It, it, it updated. <laughs> It updated, uh, so now it's down. Uh, it's Therefore, it's 50. not important. If it updates, and you know, it, you really should only get a handful of headlines every day. But yeah. we're we're just so immersed in this kind of a headline world where you need a new one every ten minutes. It's yeah, like, but it, yeah, and it's it's uh, it's been coming up. That's the thing. Like uh, uh, that 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 I was like, all right, I, maybe I have to start paying attention to this. A lost blob of water found in the ocean. That sounds like the most ridiculous uh, uh, thing in, in the world. Like uh, the ocean is water. How do you have lost water in the water? We exactly. knew the water was doesn't there. make any sense. Um, Rob, uh, I hate to I hate to interrupt you on this uh, interesting. You got you got to go. You got to um, go. There's well, no. There I do have to go, but also there's a, there's an important call coming in that I'm gonna I'm gonna um, tap in through here. Okay, ready? Okay. Hello, everybody. What's up? Who, who who's this? What's up? Oh, it's, it's, it's your old friend Krampus, Krampustafer. I've 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 given you the call just to remind everybody. Uh, you know, Kramp Krampus day is coming. Um, but uh, Rabbit and Drew, I, I I need to speak. I I'm I'm kind of lost, and I, I'm not sure what's going on. I've I've been living in this world, you know, Satan and all that. We we, we button heads. I've been living in this world, this world of Halloween. It's very beautiful. Lots of things. Uh, I, I don't know how to get back, though. I'm, I'm a bit lost. Wondering if you could uh, maybe uh, give me some directions. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, if you can't tell me where you are necessarily, I don't know how to tell you how to get back to where you're going. Didn't you hear me, Vabbit? I said I'm in the land of Halloween. Like Spirit yeah, Halloween? That... They've, they've, they've closed. They they day after Halloween the, the the doors were locked the the things were packed and I don't I don't they're in a warehouse somewhere oh shit are you are you in a warehouse well I'm not, I'm not very sure lots of people currently yes it does look a little different than it did earlier uh, people people have sad face on all day for about eight to ten hours uh, and then a new group come in and they they also look very depressed they don't look happy. Uh, and then there's boxes everywhere. Uh, there's these, these, these things made of wood that people put boxes on. And then it goes in this, this high, like, skyscraper of a, of a type of a, a structure. I, I, I don't know. It says, it says, land of Halloween. And then if, where if I don't get back to, to hell, if I don't get back to the world and start, uh, you know, absorbing all these children again, throwing the bad ones in my bag and where we, we're going to have a problem. Well then, I suppose uh, uh, we we gotta we gotta get you out of uh, where you're at. Uh, perhaps. Well, well uh, there's there's somebody punching a clock right now, and uh, it looks like they're going to uh, take the box. I mean, and uh, just... Krampus. Hey, hello. Well, uh, it, it, it's gone. It's gone. Well, that was weird. Um, I hope he's okay. 
hopefully we don't have to deal with that anytime in the, like the next you no know, 22 days yeah, uh, yeah. That's something. But uh um I, Rob, think that, I don't think so. I don't think that that'll creep back up. Yeah, it was a fluke. It's a fluke, which is the most common fish in the sea, believe it or not. Um I I don't uh, because the premise uh, already dictates the uh, uh the, the the fluke is the most common fish in the sea, believe it or not. No, that's <laughs> We're left. We're leaving you in a world of uh, of of wonder and, and bewilderment. Um, Robert, how was your how was your bougie coffee? The California sunrise. The California sunrise. Uh, it sounds like something that wouldn't be good, but it's amazing, uh, and, and it makes you feel good. It doesn't make it. It gives you the en- like. It gives you good energy and caffeine energy at the same time. So there's not like a crash later. I. It does sound good. I actually want to try that. I I had my my plain Jane coffee. Nothing in it. It was fine. It's done the trick, but I got to get ready for, I got to get ready for game day. Um, might, might encounter Tay Tay Swift. We'll see. Um, but, you know, of course, go pack go. Tomorrow, I'm interviewing Carrington Valentine and Patrick Taylor. Uh, Carrington Valentine is a cornerback for the Green Bay Packers, and Patrick Taylor is a running back for the Green Bay Packers. I interviewed Carrington last week. It went amazing. It was really great, really good show. Um, and I get to do it again. And it's, I got to tell you, Rob, that live show fix whoo oh, it's a rush yeah, people laughed the first thing i said the first thing i said the whole group half of them went oh and the other half laughed and it was such an amazing feeling oh, i got it was it was fucking cool so you found yeah yeah you're finding your audience i like it yeah uh can we do a quick can we do a quick fantasy update where we talking a fantasy yeah. uh, uh 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 i just want to say uh so i'm i'm starkly losing yeah. my season uh, it's so been, it's lost, but but this week I play Rob Weldon, <laughs> and this week on Thursday night I played DJ Metcalf, mm-hmm. Charbonnet, and Dak Prescott, and I am at ninety points with those three players, heavily projected to win. Uh, I'm 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 excited that I'm gonna I'm gonna get a win over Rob this week, and I just wanted to put that in recording. <laughs> Uh, and next week I'll probably come back with my head hung and say I jinxed it by saying anything about it because that's what normally happens. I'll have a 90% win percentage and still lose. But I think this week I'm pretty set. But... And uh, I, 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 I just wanted to I just wanted to tell everybody. And, 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 uh, and now I'm going to tell Rob to listen to this episode. Well, and then, too, uh, um, the Packers smoked the Lions on Thanksgiving. Like, oh yeah, I mean yeah. it was just it's insult to injury. Uh, this the, he 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 had a it, football was not his friend on th- on on Thursday. It's a beautiful thing. Um, well, you know as always, uh, hit up our our T Public store, buy some things. Um, you can get a lot of stuff. You can get a lot of cool stuff. Help us out a little bit. Um, you know, give us a listen, give us a subscribe, and all that and all that razzle dazzle. Um, Rob, good episode. A lot of fun. It was a fun one. This is a good one. See ya. See ya.